All right, fitting and putting on a harness. This is the Canadog X-Back harness, pretty standard sled dog harness. Grab those padded sides and fit them up with the neck hole and put the whole thing over the dog's head at once. Then you'll lift each front leg individually and place in, in the uh, leg holes. You can only really check the harness fit on this model when it's pulled tight. So you wanna see the harness when the dog is putting weight in it and you're, or you're pulling backwards on it. That padded side needs to be on the ribs. It can't be missing the rib cage. And the other place you'll check the fit is at the front. You want that riding on the breastbone, not the windpipe. This particular harness is a size medium. Um, so when you're taking the harness off, you'll just reverse the process, lift each front leg out one at a time, and then slip the whole thing back over the dog's head. All right, we're gonna just compare this to a, a different harness. This is a size small harness with a long fit. So lengthwise, it's actually pretty similar to the other harness that where the loop attaches to the harness is at the tail, that's right. Um, the shoulder still moves well, but where you're gonna see the difference is the neck hole is so tight on Willie that it rides on her windpipe. So if she was pulling in this harness, she'd be choking and gagging. So the medium harness is definitely a better fit for her that we uh, showed first. All right, so same harness maker. This is the shorty version. This is the harness we recommend for can across or uh, bike joring. Also ski joring works. So this one uh, is a buckle side clip harness. When we pull it tight you can see that her front leg and shoulder still has ample room to move properly and the other place we check the fit is at the front and yes it does ride right on the breastbone.